Hello people, welcome back to my Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. This is episode 23, I think. Uh, in the last episode, we went up Dragon Spiral Tower and we met N up there. And apparently he has awakened the Zekrom. And now he wants us to go get the Light Stone so we can awaken Reshiram. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're going to the Relic Castle to try to find the Light Stone, which is the form that Reshiram is currently in. So here we go. Alright, back into this desert. Oh man, okay. Oh, here are some cones. Let's walk around that, okay. To the Relic Castle. So we've already caught a Pokemon there, so we can't catch another anymore. But that's okay. We caught Sybil there. Up here to the desert resort. Oh yeah, there's this doctor here. Yes, he was nice. Okay, let me see if I can remember the path that does not involve us walking in the dark sand. Also, there seems to be a bigger sandstorm here than last time we were here. It's like all these little particles flying around. Oh, there, there it is. Let me also check our Pokemon. We have Bellatrix in the front. Uh, I think I'm put Ginny in the front. So I believe there are sand dials and the mask based off last time we came here. Sand dials and the mask, and uh, well, Bellatrix is weak to sand dial because sand dial is part dark, and I guess the mask we'd be okay against because we're ghosts, but. I don't know, let's not do that. Uh, Ginny, on the other hand, is good against Sandiles, and I guess just okay against Ghost. So put her in the front because she also needs more experience. Okay, let's give her the smoke ball. I feel like Gilderoy has the experience share. Okay, cool. Let's go inside. Sharon, stop, Conch. What? Why? That's the entrance to the relic castle. Why? Yes, I know that. I've been in there before. You are impressive, Conch, making it here before I did. Yeah, well, you're just a slowpoke, Sharon. Dealing with the desert resort's Pokemon took longer than I would have thought. I only made it all the way out here thanks to my Pokemon. Alder went on ahead. Let's hurry. Why did you and Alder separate? Why don't you guys go together? All right, here we go. Well, see, Sharon didn't even come down with me. And Alder is not here. All right, here's this sand pit. There, the sand is cleared away, so now you can proceed. Ah, uh, see, this place was blocked off earlier. And now we can go down. Oh, hello. Uh, hi. Yeah, well, this is awkward. We're just staring at each other. Ryoku, okay. Getsus told us that once again, we should test how much power you have. We will see if you can defeat Team Plasma. Oh, I thought he was going to fight us. I guess not. Oh. Oh. Well, Yeah, Jenny can take the Sandile. Sandile's level 21. We can take it. Energy Ball. Bam. Alright, let's fight this person. Or not. Give a mask, okay. I'm gonna just run from this because I really want to fight that Team Plasma Grunt right now. So we're running. 
Okay, hello? I've heard about you. I heard you work Pokemon hard! Okay. Oh, that was a guy. Mm, well, I gave him a girl voice. So he has three Pokemon. This is a Washog. Oh, maybe we should have kept Bellatrix in the front to fight these watchdogs. All right, let's try a jump kick. Bam! And you are dead. Croc, croc. Okay. Jimmy can handle that too. Energy ball. And you are also dead. Another Crocorock, okay. We'll just do the same thing as what we did to the last one. And you're dead. Jenny one hit KO'd all of your Pokemon. Okay, so I guess we have to go down the sand pit. Okay, here we go. Or quicksand, that's what it's called. Not a sand pit, it's quicksand. It's an item. Max potion. Okay. Hello there. You! Please tell my Pokemon! Oh, to please? Oh, goodness, okay. Wow, I read that completely wrong. Okay, you, to please my Pokemon, lose. I'm not gonna lose just to please your Pokemon. Why don't you lose and please my Pokemon? He's got two. Scraggy. Mm. Level 35, okay. Okay, we'll do a, a jump kick. Bam, you should be dead, yep. Gilderoy is now level 34. Okay, a watchdog. Also, jump kick. Yeah, okay, Jenny's been landing all the jump kicks. Oh no, we were so close, we were so close to hitting it. Okay. Super Fang, if I recall, is the attack that takes down. It takes exactly half the damage of uh, your current HP. So if he does Super Fang again, we should still be fine because it'll only take half of what we currently have. So we will faint attack. Well, I should kill this Washog anyways. And it does. Me. Level 37. Horn Leech? What is Horn Leech? The user drains the target's energy with its horns. The user's HP is stored by half the damage taken by the target. Isn't that just like Mega Drain? Giga Drain? Like all the drain attacks? Uh. For sure. I guess we'll get rid of Leech Seed, because that's kind of the same thing. Except Leech Seed is ongoing, but you only get a little bit each turn. What? A trainer? Yes, I am a trainer. Okay, so Ginny took some... Oh, Ginny took some damage from that fight, so let's go up. Find that doctor. Ooh, it's a Confagrigus? Conf Confagrigus. Okay. We're gonna just run from you. We have a smoke ball so we can run. Yeah, so I'm gonna go upstairs. Uh, find that the doctor outside that I like so much. And then, yeah, I'll come right back here to Bella Castle.
Okay, I'm back here. Guess we have to fight this grunt. I'm not sure if we're supposed to go down that uh, quicksand over there, but there's a grunt here, so I guess this is the way to go. Mm, and there's a wild Pokemon. Okay, we're gonna run. Alright, we run. Okay. Alright, hello there. You can't change the world without a little pain! I guess that's true. Uh, she only has one Pokemon. It's Garbodor. Oh, the poisons. Okay. So apparently, grass is weak to poison, so we should take you out of this fight. But then who do we put in? Looks like Neville. Okay, looks like Neville. Because uh, Neville's ground type and apparently ground is good against poison, so... Oh uh, yeah. We're putting Neville in. Clear smog. Okay. Got a little dig. Body slam. Oh, okay. Gave up on the poison type move. And you're dead. All right. Now there's an item over. Oh wild Pokemon. So many wild Pokemon. Uh, I suppose we can fight you for the experience points. We should be quick. Yep, that was very quick. Alright, now let's grab that item. Shadow Ball, ooh, okay. That's a good one. All right, so I'm gonna guess we go down this, this quicksand, this little pit, uh, just cause the plasma ground was guarding it. So here we go. Oh, maybe it doesn't matter which one you go in. Cause there's like another landing spot up there in the upper right corner. I don't know, let's fight this person. There's always a wild Pokemon right before I fight. Okay. Alright, let's kill this Krokorok also for experience. Launch an energy ball at it. And you're dead. Alright. Hello there. If everyone frees their Pokemon, there is no winning or losing. Uh, there could still be winning or losing. I mean, in the real world right now, we don't have Pokemon and they're still winning and losing. Okay. We can take down Croc Rock. Your energy ball. Yep, and you are dead. Cool, so there's an item right here. Max revive. Okay, useless in the Nuzlocke. Uh, let's see what's up here. Oh, more sand pits, but here's another grunt. And here's a wild Pokemon. Alright, I guess we're killing all the Crocorocks. It's easy experience for Ginny. Oh, we are so close. Oh, and now we're confused.
Let's. Hmm. So I was gonna do faint attack because that's like my gentler attack, the not a strong attack compared to other other ones that Jenny has. But Croc Rock is also dark type. No, oh, we'll try it. Okay, Jenny, you can do it. You can do it. Don't. Oh no. Okay, you can do it this time, Jenny. Come on. No! Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, okay. Jenny, you are switching out. Hmm, but who to put in? Buckbeak? I think ground is weak to rock, but Buckbeak is flying, so... Well, I mean, rock is weak to ground, but Buckbeak is also flying type. Sure, what moves do you have again? Okay, sounds good. Let's try sending in Buckbeak. Dig, okay. Well, you can't hit us with dig. Uh, I guess we'll just do acrobatics. I don't know if who goes first. Now we go first, so. All right, now acrobatics again. And now you're dead. All right, Gilderoy leveled up, 35. Okay, so I am definitely going to find that doctor right now. Let me move. Yeah, I guess let's move Buckbeak to the front. Give Buckbeak the smoke ball. It's just in case we get into a fight where like we can't use a smoke ball. I don't know. So that way Jenny's not in front. And now I will go find a doctor. Um, yeah, so instead of finding a doctor, I accidentally fell down a pit. So I guess we're just continuing. I didn't see any stairs to go up either, so I guess I couldn't get up anyways. Let's use a sunstone. And here's a wild Pokemon. Wanna run? Okay, there's a couple of grunts down there. So wild crocorog here. We're gonna run from you. Oh, here are some stairs. Cool. Right, I'll just keep going up. a lot of stairs oh we made it to the top okay cool now I will go find a doctor and I will be back okay we made it back here I'm gonna put Ginny back in the front and take smoke ball and give it to Ginny. All right, cool. Okay, so we saw that there was, yeah, team plasma. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought I already fought you. I guess not. All right, well, hello. Pokemon are too good for the likes of you. They are amazing, but putting them in the hands of foolish trainers can bring nothing good. Okay. That's great. Just got three Pokemon, okay. Lipard. 
Okay, so the dark types are weak to fighting, and we have a fighting move. As long as we don't miss, we should be good. And yeah, we did not miss. And Lifeheart is dead. Jenny is so awesome. Uh, here's the poison again, okay. So I guess we'll send out Neville to deal with the poison. Take down. That did very little damage. Like, that did nine. Nine damage. Alright, so we're gonna dig. Alright. And you are dead. Okay, another Trubbish, all right. Well, Neville's already out, so we can just go ahead and dig. Bam. And you're dead. Cool, so, oh, there's an item there. And I guess we go down this sand pit. Okay, there's a PP up. It's cool. Let's go down this pit here. Ah, that brings us right next to you two. So I'm gonna guess this is a double battle. We fight for the young king. That's it. Oh, not a double battle. Is it just you? Yep, just you. Okay, he's got two Pokemon. First is a Watchdog. Okay, we're gonna Jump Kick. Still have not missed Jump Kick yet this episode. Oh no, oh, ooh, ooh. Ha, ah, you missed. Or Ginny avoided the attack. Cause Ginny's awesome. Now we're gonna faint attack. And now you are dead. Now we get a lot of experience. And now Scraggy. Okay, we're gonna do a jump kick for you also. Nope, still has not missed a jump kick. And we're level 38. And now uh, you are down. Let's fight this person. I won't tolerate people who have different ideas. That's not a very good way to live. But anyways, we have two Pokemon. Oh, Trubbish, okay. I guess Neville's coming out. All right, Neville, let's go. All right, we can handle that. Okay, we're gonna dig. And down we go. And boom! And you are dead. Alright, next is Lipard. Okay, I guess we'll keep Neville in. Because Neville's part Dark type too, so Dark type moves are weak against us. Alright, so let's just continue digging. You miss, and then we dig, and you're dead. 
Up, oh, level 36. Future sight. Uh, sure. Let's see, we have Amnesia and Calm Mind. It sharply raises special defense. And Calm Mind just raises special attack and special defense, but not sharply, it's just a normal raise. I guess we'll get rid of Amnesia. Because I like the coverage that Calm Mind has for both defense and special defense. But it's more likely that I'll never use stat changing move, so it doesn't really matter which one I get rid of. But if I ever were to use a stat changing move, I would like you know, the coverage of both special defense and defense rather than just defense. Anyway, so we have beat this grunt. And I guess we continue on down the sand pits. Ah, we. Sharon? What do you mean you finally caught up? You look like you were right behind me this whole time. Like with the the amount of time, the, the delay, it was only like two seconds between when I went down this pit and when you went down this pit. So where were you in all the fight? Okay. All right, so anyway, Sharon says, Whew, I finally caught up. You two. Come here. Come to my side. It looks like everyone is here. It seems you are working hard to resurrect the Reshu Ram. The other dragon type Pokemon aren't you. But it appears the light stone you seek is not here. Well then, congratulations are in order. Conch, you were chosen by our king. If you truly desire to keep the world as it is, where Pokemon live alongside people, you must bring the other Dragon-type Pokemon spoken of in legend and battle with our king. Oh, spoken of in legend and battle with our king. See, they need more punctuation. See, I thought, I thought the Pokemon spoken of in legend and battle, I thought that was one thing, but it's actually spoken of in legend, comma, and battle with our king. Anyways. Otherwise, Team Plasma will steal every Pokemon from every person in the world and release them all. Release them, you say? Do the Pokemon who live with their trainers actually want that? Is the liberation you talk about really just stealing Pokemon from people? What's this? Champion Alder, even though illness took the Pokemon that had been your partner for many years and you haven't had a serious battle in all that time. Even you, who ordered the Elite Four to protect the Pokemon League and left to wander the Unova region alone. Even a champion like you now wants to protect a world where Pokemon and people live together? Team Plasma's king will show the people of Unova that he is stronger than a champion who keeps Pokemon bound. And just like the hero who founded Unova, he will be accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He will give this order. Trainers, release your Pokemon. For this, we have prepared a suitable castle for the legendary Zekrom and our king. I won't lose. I'll fight for all trainers who love their Pokemon and for all Pokemon who believe in their trainers. Our king has no interest in you. He has already determined that victory against you is assured. So you stayed behind just to tell me that? Just to make a fool of me? Of course not. I'm doing this out of kindness. Yes, kindness. I'm making sure this champion doesn't get hurt for no reason. Granted, the moment when someone loses all hope. I really do love to watch that moment. Well then, farewell.
Alder, what are you going to do now? Hmm. It seems my only choice is to return to the Pokemon League and battle N. But it bothers me to do exactly what Getsis wants. More importantly, what should we do about the Light Stone? Alder, why don't we go outside for now? Yes, that's a good idea. It's hard to breathe in here. It's hard to put into words, but I'll never forgive them for this. What could that guy called N possibly- Okay, sorry about that. So the phone rang while I was in the middle of reading the last sentence. So, like Alder said, what could a guy named N possibly want? And now, continuing, could he be trying to prove he is right by winning the battle of the two dragons? Oh, x transceiver. Oh, it's Professor Juniper. Conch! Conch! Hello? Conch! Oh, you picked up. Hey, Conch. Come to the museum in the Queen City immediately. Right away, got it? I mean, right now. I could hear Professor Juniper's voice from clear over here. That is quite amazing, especially with this sandstorm going on. Seems like something big is happening. I wonder what is waiting at the museum in the Korean city. I'll go on ahead. I'll look around here once more. I don't want to believe what that gets us says. You should head for the Korean city museum. Okay, that I will do. All right, Luna, let us fly to the Korean city. I think that was back here. Yep. All right, here we go. All right, uh, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon first, especially, especially since we landed right in front of the Pokemon Center. So very convenient. Okay, and now let's head to the museum, which I think was also the gym. Oh, there, there they all are. Hello? Alder told me, or, Alder told me what's going on. Crunch, you are caught up in something serious, it seems. Is this it? Whoa, isn't that the stone? Found in the desert resort? Yes, that's right. But is this really a dragon type Pokemon? Surely. When I investigated Dragon Spiral Tower, I found I found elements that were dated to the same era as this light stone. I looked into that. Impressive, as always. But you know, we're lucky. Cause what if Team Plasma like Notice that old stone that time. That's a good point. It's clear to me that they were trying to steal the Dragon Skull so they could revive the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. If you would, Conch, take this. Wait a moment, Conch. If you take this Light Stone, 
That means you'll be the one to battle N if anything happens to me. Are you really okay with that? Wait, what does he mean, I'm the one to battle N if anything happens to him? I thought it was supposed to be me anyways. Anyways, okay. Yes. I understand. You are determined to take on this duty. Then, here it is. Prepare yourself. Be strong. I see. If things don't go as planned, you'll use this light stone. You'll protect the true future for us and Pokemon. Conch, we're counting on you. Please take care of yourself. Alright. Lightstone honestly did not look as cool as I thought it would look, but it's still cool that we got it. So, how do we wake the dragon type Pokemon from the stone then? It's a very good question, Cedric. That's it! We've got them, don't we? Aha! We've got those two. Conch, go to Opelucid City. So Opelucid? Opelucid? Okay, I'm gonna go with Opelucid. Opelucid City. The gym leader of that city uses dragon type Pokemon. The, the gym leader could know something. I'll go ahead and wait for you there. Until then. He just keeps flying around. That's right! Opelucid's Drayden might know something! Hey Conch, never forget that you always have Pokemon right by your side. I'm going to head back to the lab and do some research. I'll see if I can uncover what kinds of beings these legendary dragon type Pokemon are and if there is any way to, uh, to awaken them. Don't worry! If we have something for you, we'll come running to find you. Ooh. Oh, it should be like... Oh, sounds real serious. Um, that's about all I got out of it. Conch, do you know Opelucid City? When you leave from Icarus City and, like, cross the tube-line bridge, it's on the other side. Um, I'm not that great with directions, so if you need more... Check your town map, okay? Alright. Thanks, Bianca. I guess we'll head over to Icarus City right now. Yeah, it's right there. Opelucid City. Looks like there's a couple routes in the bridge until we, that we have to cross from Icarus City to Opelucid City. So I think I will save that part for the next episode and I will end this episode here. Uh, basically just went into Relic Castle and followed Team Plasma there and you know, we went down all these levels, all these floors of the Relic Castle only to have nothing there. and. And it turns out Lenora had it this whole time. So, yeah, that's cool, I guess. And, yeah, so next episode, I guess we will make our way to Opelucid City so we can uh, get ready and battle the last gym leader. So, yeah, that's all for this episode. I'll see you next time.